Good afternoon, my vacuum cleaner chums. Welcome to another In My Car video on this very rainy day. Bit of an impromptu video, this, because I've been given a load of brochures. So I thought, sod it, I'll make part three of my video. I nearly made part three yesterday, but I did the Electrolux 612 instead, which was far more worth it, I'll be honest. But there's enough here to probably eke out a whole video on. So let's have a look. The first thing is it's in a lovely Black & Decker service bag, which is nice. Now, what's in here? This came from Mr. Stephen Charman. If you're a vacuum cleaner collector, you've probably heard of Stephen Charman. He's, he's always got lots of lovely, lovely machines. I've bought a fair few off of him, and he sent me all these, which is very nice of him. So first, we have a Hoover a washing machine and tumble dryer brochure, which isn't my thing, I'll be honest. And I've already found a washing machine collector to give it to appreciate it far more than I will because these sort of things they're not really worth selling much I'm certainly not going to ask any money for it he can have it but here is a look at it anyway only a brief look because I say it's nothing that really interests me it's from March 1979 covering those models and there we go so what do we have here well we have an Electro Parts Retailer's Handbook from 2001 which is actually quite interesting because it has all the parts, all the all the parts, all the prices. So if I just get to the right page, here we go. It's got all these vacuum cleaners. Look, we have the Electrolux Boss 1080, and actually, because you can pause this and watch the prices, it took me ages to work this out. Are here with a leading zero, so that's forty-one pound eighty-six. That's forty pounds eighty-five obviously multiple so that's what the prices are there's a dirt devil arion which is very much like an electrolux contour in fact it probably is that's 48 pounds 85 samsung vcu 313 morphe richards ultralight that's 55 quid and electrolux the boss Ah, who the Turbo Power 2 U2129, they want 57 pounds, well, one Ted, 57 pounds for that. Ah, the old MC465 and 1500 watt guys, had a 1900 watt one of those. Another the boss. Sorry, I'm very coldy today, so apologies for that. Samsung Panasonic, I never had one of those. Dirt Devil Titan. I've never had one of those. I've had a version of this, the Smart Vac. It's a green one. In fact, it is in another one of these brochures. So that's the £70 worth of Smart Vac. A Pure Power, a bagged 1400 watt Pure Power. Very nice. I've got one of these, a U1650. £72. That's more than the Turbo Power 2. Another Panasonic. A Samsung, another smart vac. Don't know what the differences are. I'm not going to go into it in that much detail. Another Panasonic, another smart. Ah, oh, there you go. That's the 1500 watt one. That's the 1400 watt one at the very least. Another Pure Power. I think it's still bagged. A bag. Is that a bagless electronic smart vac? Don't know. No, because it, they, they buy bags for it, so it's not. A Hoover Professional, £131. Ah, one of the Panasonic icons, look. The version that I haven't got. I know a collector who has got one of those, right? Another The Boss. They flogged The Boss massively in the early 2000s, didn't they? Ah, here's my icon, look. The 1600 watt version, 156 quid. Blimey, I paid 99p for mine. Oh, there's even more market MC583. There you go, you can have a complete comparison because I can get both in the shot. Don't know what. Ah, oh, that, that's got the dust sensor. That's got. I presume that's that works like the Hoover Auto Sense. And Nil Fisk. Commercial Nilfisk for £190. Tissue down. 
I'm never the boss. No, Cyclone Powers. Oh, my aunt had one of these. I think it was that one she had, but there's another one. And another one. And another one, and another one. God, they have a lot of Cyclone Powers, didn't they? God knows what they all did. Uh, here we go, if I come out a little bit, here's the Hoover Vortexes. I've had one of those ones. Yes, those ones, the V2000. There's the V1500. Don't know what the differences are. Ah, automatic cord rewind. That one has That one had manual cord. That one had cord rewind. So what's the difference with this one? Probably nothing. Got the same motor. So there we go. Look, there's all the specs for all three vortexes. They would have been spankers new. Oh, pull out a bit here for the DCO4s. I think I've had all but one of those. Never had a DCO4 distill. There's those. Now have you got the DCO3 and the DCO5? How much were they selling a DCO5 for? £149.78. Ah, the DCO4 Zorbster. There's one of those in the shed that we need to look at this year. That's £217. And the DCO5 Motorhead. I had one in for repair. I never actually owned one. Here's a horrible looking bagless machine from Bissell. I remember these coming out. How old have I been in 2001? I'm 29 now. They're probably a lot younger than now. I'm too ill to care. Little Morphe Richard Jazz. Dirt Devil Handy Vac. Another Morphe Richard Jazz. Ah, here you go. The Aztecs. Never had an Aztec. Nearly did, actually, but I can't remember why I didn't buy it. There would have been some reason. Well, there's going to be a lot of Aztecs, isn't there? Because they did fucking loads of little variations. There's little The Boss Cylinder. An Electrolux Zio. A Samsung with no real name. Another Samsung. Oh, I've had one of these in... Might not have been that colour, but I've had one of those. They're not bad little machines. Quite rare now. Another horrible little The Boss Cylinder. 40 quid. The Dirt Devil Venus. That does look very much like a Hoover... Uh, not Alpina... Might have been an Alpine, you probably know what I mean. If you don't, then neither do I. Another Aztec, a Mondo. Very basic looking Mondo, that is. I don't think it even has gold rewind. A little Panasonic cylinder and a Dirt Devil Neptune. Another Aztec, another Mondo. Ah, Hoover Orian. That's what I thought that Dirt Devil one looked like. It does sort of. Close your eyes a bit. Little Panasonic Cylinder, never seen one of those. Morphe Richards at Premier. I've had a Premier. Not quite that style, but it was an alright machine before it decided to set fire to its own pre-motor filter. Samsung with a Teleos. Oh, maybe that, that Dirt Devil also looks like a Teleos, but isn't Teleos and the Iran are fairly similar? No, they're not, are they? They are built on different platforms. A Bosch Sphera. Panasonic. Morphe Richard Ecovac. Ooh, that's the Mondo below, the one that I had. I know some, another collector's got one of these. I had a Mondo with electronics speed control. I sold that. A Panasonic cylinder again. Sorry, I'm trying to rush through, but we've been 10 minutes so far. Hope you're not bored. Rowenta, Trinixo, Tonixio, Tonixo with Delta 2, whatever the hell Delta 2 is. A Dirt Devil Jupiter, a Bosch Sphera, another Samsung. Oh, there's the Mondo that I had, look. It's on my channel. Remember that? I got that for free cycle. £83.74, and I paid nothing for it. That's doing sterling service with a nice chap from Auto Shite now. The Bosch Ultra, Electrolux Paws, Electrolux Smartback. A Hoover Pets. It's a Teleos, isn't it? Another Panasonic Cylinder. An Electrolux Smartback. And another Panasonic Cylinder with a floor head that I've never seen in real life. That's interesting. That's £108 worth. 
a Bosch Ultra, an Electrolux Smart Vac, another Panasonic with that weird tool, and by the looks of it, electronic speed control, another Electrolux Smart Vac, and another one of those Panasonics. Then we have Henry in all of his colours for £86. A Nilfisk Cubic, a Nilfisk King, a Nilfisk CDB, a CDF, and another King. It's an advert for a Nilfisk there. Lots more Nilfisks. Some central vac thing. A uh, vac 6130. A big green clean machine. 6130S. Ooh, a Goblin Aqua Valet. Bagless. Well, that was, I bet they all died being used as valet machines. There's a VAC 6130. Ooh, an Aqua £34. Bargain. I, my set grand had one of those. Dirt Devil DD3100. Never seen one of those. A Rewenta. Oh, I got Aquavac Plus. An Aquavac Power Plus. A Goblin Floormaster. Pulte. I can't even pronounce that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Aquavac Commercial there. And the bigger commercial there. But they are now bastards. Another commercial there. I've never seen one of those before. Abyssal Little Green Deluxe. Various power washers, the uprights, and an electric steamer, and a Vax of Sahara. Don't see many of those about now, do you? Then here we have hand vax and steam cleaners. I'm not going to go into those. More hand vax and steam cleaners. There's a Vax Super 2 there. Dirt Devil Hardy. I think that should be handy. <laughs> We're not right into it now then. Look, there's a little rechargeable the boss. Electrolux Super Brooms. Dirt Devil Roommate. And there we go. That is the Electro part. And we have an instruction manual for a Rowenta. Am I going to have to put my phone down? Hang on. How on your side? Come there we go, one of those for went to RU40, 41 and 33 with part of the original guarantee card. The Goblin Range. Don't know for what year, but there's the Handy. I've got a boxed Handy in the shed. We need to go through and the dash. A tease made. How does this open up? Aha! So, what did Goblin flog? They flogged the Rio and the Rio Reflex. She needs to put the little bent end on the top of there, see, bitch. The Goblin Horizon. The Goblin Oasis. Never seen an Oasis. Ah, the Laser Plus. Still flogging the Laser Plus. The Goblin X Extra 200 and 100. Ah, the high filtration one. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? You're sat in the hospital dying and they find out next you shit your pants and have a heart attack, wouldn't you? There's the multifunction trionic and the steamatic. What else have we got on the back? There's just everything. You have to pause that if you want to look at it. A little history of goblin. There we go. Let's put that down. Right, what else do we have? We have the Goblin Solo 1000 Electronic. There we go, look. All about uh, the Goblin Solo. I've never seen one of these before. There's one of those. Oh, the Goblin 1991 range. And there's the Rio again. The Rio Reflex Plus. The lasers. The steamers and the multifunctions. Aquavax. 
There we go, look, you can see all that. You have to pause, like I say, if you want to watch it properly. I'm not going to... Can't spend too much detailed time, I'm afraid. I should have flogged this down to just one, shouldn't I? The one a day, maybe. But you'd have all got bored. The Aquavac Bulldog. There's a machine I've never had, sadly. Very nice. Aquavac Bulldog there. Do, do, do. The Aquavac Plus series. I've had one of those. I've had a Plus 3000, I think it was. That was a very loud machine. And then another product range catalogue. All oh, the Sherpa and the Boxer and the Bulldog. These are from my era. Never seen that caddy on or, or a plus 4000. The Pro Series. I remember those coming out. What car is that? That's the Sierra Estates, isn't it? That dates this then. Early 90s. The Gusty, never seen an Aquavac Gusty before in real life, apart from just then on that picture. And then the Industrials again. And the two year about the guarantee. What else have we got? We've got a Kerr Star brochure from, I presume, 1986. The KV51. The 10 one, ah, the KV15 slash one. Ryan used to have one, U5096, I think he was. Is there's a video, one of those on his channel. Here's other ones. Never had a Kerr Star, they were like they would have been the pneumatic at the time, probably not as popular because obviously, pneumatic are still going, and I'm not sure if Kerr Star are. Oh, number seven's a powerhead. That looks meaty, doesn't it? There we go, look. Quick flick across. Lovely. Oh, lots of Dyson's. These are Curry's Essential Floor Care Guide. Oh, I've got a scan of this. So there we go. When's this from? January 2003. So we had a Pure Power 1700. A Telios. The Vax thing, DC08, it's a Bosch. Oh, they've got up to 1600 watts on there now. Here we go, look. Don't think it gives, it does give sort of prices. Not fully though. Here you go, look, DCO3s, 4s. This must have been. DC07 must have been quite new at this point. I think I've had every single one of those many times. This will sharp another. That was after the wind tunnel had been. Not the wind tunnel, the vortex had been redesigned to not be sued by Hoover. By Hoover, by Dyson. Nice see through dust manager. Me and a cat and dog. Samsung Digimax. What makes a Digimax so good then? Probably nothing because you don't see them anymore. Allergy Vax. DCO8. There we go. Another Hoover Hurricane, which would have been the Vortex. Electrolux. LG. Bosch. Panasonic's Henry Micro. I've never seen one with the writing on the lid before. And there we go. That was Comet. They're just scams that I'm not going to go through, I'll be honest. Here is from the mail weekend. Doesn't give a date, sadly. But they tested lots of Vacuum cleaners and carpet cleaning machines. I've had those two and that one, although not that exact model. I only got two stars, look. Doesn't surprise me. 
more electrolux black and white scams. In fact, these you've seen before because I've got most of these in different variants. What have we got here? Comet. Where'd a Corsa be? Wow. Let's not bother. So, what's being flogged in Comet? Let's just check. There's appliances. Here's the vacuum cleaners. Look. Turbo power 2880. That's the turbo power 3. The Electrolux light. I've had one that colour badged up as a tango. There's a different turbo power. I think that's the turbo power 2. Vax New Wave. Got, got, got one of those up in the loft that I need to finish off. Bulldog. Vaxes. Phillips, don't see Phillips much anymore, do you? A contour, sadly not the contour that we've got up, I've got upstairs. Turbo Power 2 and then other appliances. The Independent Electrical Retailer. This basically is just a look, because I've read this at work, there's a copy of Aztec advert, it's just a look at the world of vacuum cleaners based from the, from the retailers. In 1998, there's a nice Hoover Pure Power. Where did I read? I read something quite interesting, actually. There's an electrical. That's the one. Of the, that's the one I had. One of those. There's Mina advert. Back when they came out, I've had a few of those now. A Hoover Pure Power ad. Let's say that while the Pure Power is. Diabolically awful, it's still better than the leading psychotic cleaner. With the best dirt pickup. Here we go. Hoover's Caroline Knight says Hoover remains committed to the principles of the vacuum cleaner bag, convinced it is the best way to contain and dispose of household dirt. Ha, hey, you lost that one, Hoover. There's a very nice Vampa 7500. Another Miele with a different turbo brush on it. The uh, Panasonic 500 series. A Morphe Richards, a Bosch, Gobbin Steamatic, and a Vax Sahara. And finally, a lovely advert for the Hoover Professional range. There we go. And there's one of those without the tools. Um, without the correct hose on eBay now or was very very short while ago if you want to go find that and finally a Rowenta brochure for the Rowenta Power Master I'll open that first because then we've got the power, another Power Master the RBO 1 and 02 there we go the compact wet and dry there's all the things you can do or that your Rowenta does. I'll put my phone better so I don't shake it so much. Look at that, she's well happy with that, isn't she? And her Rowenta couldn't afford a Hoover, so she got a Rowenta. Couldn't even afford an Electrolux. There we go. And I think I had one of those without the hose, without the hose ones, because I had to bin it, so I couldn't find a hose. There we go, that's the Rowenta. Doesn't say where it came from. But there we go. So, if you look at some brochures for you, I'm going to have to go back out into the rain and get back to work. But thank you very much for watching. If you've watched this far, we'll have to look at doing part four soon. But I need to go up in the loft for part four because that's where all the rest of the stuff that I could show you is. So that might not happen straight away, but for now, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.